Alright, so in my last video, I made a racing game in Unreal Engine with no experience. And that video ended up doing really well on my channel. So first of all, I just want to say thank you for the amazing support you guys showed on that video. All the kind words in the comments. And yeah, it was just fun to see that trying something completely new um, resonated with you guys. And you all flooded me with comments asking if the game is available to download, when it's going to be released. So today I'll be showing you some updates, work on a new level, as well as give you guys my plans and future for the game. Right, so I made some big improvements already when it comes to the handling, specifically the suspension. If you saw the last video, you could tell that the car handled fine for the test track, but it was very unpredictable. Sometimes it would just flip over for no good reason when you landed. It struggled to be steady when you hit bumps, and for a stunt racing game, I feel like the car has to handle a lot better than that. So I've been working on this for a couple of hours every single day, trying to get it perfect. So here's the car's handling right now. As you can see, it's a lot more steady, it's able to land on its tire from big drops. When it does roll over, it also tends to land on its wheels a lot more often. There's still a lot of things to tweak, of course, but I feel like for now this is perfectly fine to begin building a new track. Along with the handling, I fixed a bunch of other issues as well that I can sort of go through uh, a bit more rapid fire right now. Just to keep it a bit short because some of this stuff isn't really that interesting. <laughs> collisions for the car had to be overhauled completely. Going into the physics properties, one big issue I had here was that the collision box was set a bit too low. Now this, paired with the old bad suspension, caused the car body collision to drop into the ground and made the car bounce away when the suspension is supposed to catch it before that happens. So that's pretty much fixed for now. I haven't really run into that many issues with the clipping into the ground and stuff like that since. I added a spring arm to the camera and also allowed the player to tilt the camera up and down instead of just side to side, as well as adding a collision probe, which basically prevents the camera from uh, clipping into the ground and go through objects. Now this does still clip through my car body and my wheels for some reason, so if anybody has a fix for that, please let me know. <laughs> right, so I use this blueprint right here to create a track where you can easily assign a static mesh that will automatically bend along the spline and allow you to model a sort of racetrack or a road. So I modeled this uh, track piece as a mesh in Blender, added that into the track, which looks good. But once again, this caused a lot of collision issues. Let's see if I can explain this in paint. So let's say we have the road here. And then we have a bigger bend over here. Now this is very extreme just to show it. And then what this spline does, it takes a track piece that I modeled in Blender and it sort of bends it automatically, right? So it goes along like this, and you know, it looks good, uh, visually. But then comes the blue color, the collision. <laughs> the simple collision kind of struggles to keep up with the nice bend that the track piece does, and instead it adds these sort of like jagged lines, which almost like overlap as well. And when you run into this with a car on the track, you can sometimes just come to a full stop, and sometimes the wheel can like visually just sort of lag through the ground. So to fix this, I created a more complex collision for uh, the track piece, so that it basically bends more accurate along the racetrack. Now using more complex collisions will take some performance from the PC. But yeah, so far I haven't seen any dropped frames or anything, so so far so good, but maybe once I build a massive track, um, we'll see if maybe it begins to lag again and then I have to do my 1 millionth Google deep dive this month and try and find a fix. Motion blur is something some people like and some people don't like at all. I prefer to have at least some slight motion blur, especially in racing games. I think it just looks a bit better. But here's two side-by-side -side comparisons. If you enable motion blur and you disable motion blur. And I mean, as you can see from the wheels, yeah, they don't really look as they should. This happens because Unreal Engine don't have good support for radial motion blur i believe but i did find this asset in the store last night which is called custom motion blur and it seems like you're able to sort of select what you want affected by motion blur so yeah, if this works great that is motion blur completely solved anti-aliasing anti anti-aliasing 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 Anti-aliasing, ghosting. Now this is super advanced that I don't really think that I can fix myself. Basically, as you go fast with a car, it generates this ghosting effect behind it. So for now, I'm just gonna leave it, but yeah, just so you guys know, I'm aware that it looks kind of weird sometimes. So as you can tell, making a game where you have to learn as you go along takes a long time, especially for just the smallest things. When this next track is made, I want to release a playable version for you guys as a free download with just this level. Sort of like a prototype that you guys can try, you can come with feedback, um, uh, give me some ideas maybe and then maybe further down the line i might be able to try and turn this into an actual game which is gonna take a lot of effort of course now all the updates for the game can be found in my discord i'm gonna have a specific channel there where i can post development i can show you guys some progress for the game some pictures and stuff like that maybe even videos <sighs> so yeah that's the big update a lot of talking a lot of showing so maybe not that interesting stuff but yeah just so you guys can sort of see what i've been working on behind the scenes all right it's now the following day of me going through all the updates as you can see i've already placed out and um, the first bit of the racetrack here, just to kind of also test that the collision is working. Now you start over at the sea over here, obviously very bare bones so far. Just to make our way over to the island, we have to first fly through a gap right here. Land on the track. Super smooth jumps right here. 
And then over here, I want to begin experimenting with uh, with some more fun obstacles. I just modeled this thing right here in Blender. I created this pipe with some holes that you can fall through, as well as adding these posts, which has collisions that, uh, yeah, will also, of course, uh, stop the car. Now, I just kind of made it to test if... Uh, I can get that into the world and have it spinning and I can actually go through it with my car. Here it is. So then the idea is to have this spin and you have to sort of go through and dodge it. I did add another complex collision, as you can see, <laughs> a lot of triangles in here. So this could make the game a bit laggy, but for now, I'm pretty sure this should work. Also, this is kind of like low poly to sort of fit in with the rest of the look. So how to make this spin? I know that you can go into add here and you can add rotating object right there. Oh, it's spinning now, but it's... But we need to adjust where the middle is because the middle is now at the bottom of the pipe it seems like so i just need to move this pivot point to be like in the middle of the pipe i was able to put it right there i, I don't know if that's the middle is that the middle Ooh, that's better we're getting there <laughs> we just need to find the perfect middle for that to spin it's like small things like this that just takes so long to fix whenever it gets messed up you know one two three and a half squares here one two three and a half that's perfect i nailed it <laughs> <laughs> Thank God for this view right here. I'm literally zooming in and counting the squares here uh, to make sure it's good. All right, idea is to just land right inside of it, kind of like in a GTA, you know? That's kind of where I got the inspiration from adding some small stuff like this. Also, this gap right here is just kind of like a placeholder. I do want some type of gap there, but not really sure what yet. Let's go full speed. I nail it. I nailed it first try. Let's go. Oh! It can spin us around, that's good. I'm actually stuck on it, dude. This works perfect. I may have made it a bit too small, but we can easily just, uh, yeah, increase the size in Blender and just re-import it. Or, wait, can I? Does the collision scale with it? It does. Uh, yeah, I definitely need to work on uh, fixing the shading issue. But yeah, we can make it through now. Perfect, so that's good. Now, I do want the level to get harder and harder as you go along, so I might add some similar stuff to this with obstacles. Uh, that are way more difficult further down the line. But let me see if I can fix this shading real quick, actually. Let's see what happens if we add some gloss. Oh, that looks kind of spacey, actually. This low-key looks pretty cool. Gives a really cool space vibe. And it can also spin, and we can go through. So yeah, let's just add this. I want to add something at the end where you have to go out sideways to make it up to a platform up here. You can't make it over there by just going straight, so I want to make it so you have to fly out sideways and then land here, and then this would curve out, because then I can also test... Uh, if the collision works as it should. But yeah, definitely need some road markings to kind of give you a better sense of the speed that you have because when the ground is like, you know, the same material all throughout, it doesn't really give you a good sense of speed. So that's for sure something I'll have to look into adding. But let's see if we can get this now. Go sideways. The wall caught me as well. And here we go. So yeah, I guess the next step for me now is just to continue building out this stunt island. Obviously adding more parts that maybe have more speed, maybe more difficult. We have to absolutely nail a jump through something. Caesar. Okay, Caesar wants to say hi. There is the big chunka. Yeah, I hope you guys can tell just how much better the game runs right now with the handling. As you can see, I have a bunch of like uh, tropical trees assets already picked out. Gonna place out some nice rocks, maybe have like some rocky sections, like an arch that I have to sort of go under and over. All right, so I went for a quick walk with Caesar, and then as I was on my walk, I kept thinking about the collisions. I know that they're gonna build up and eventually start lagging my game. So I actually went into Blender and I did a complete overhaul on the track piece, removing a bunch of vertices and faces to basically make the collision um, a lot more simplified. And as you can see, here's how the collision looked before, and then here is after. I think further down the line, this is gonna help my FPS a lot. I can even work with these pieces now and actually stretch them out in real time compared to before when the program had to compute all the collision in the background. I'm sure that I have some clips of it that I can show. I mean, I can pretty much hear my computer actually crying beneath my desk as I was doing it. Now, I haven't noticed any weird clipping either when I'm going fast, uh, on bendy parts like ramps and stuff like that. Seems to be pretty much no different, but with a big performance uh, upgrade for sure. And I've also added some new materials to the track, as you can see, made it a bit glossy. I also increased the speed of this tunnel because I thought it was a bit too easy before. Um, and if we continue over here, I added a super high speed part. I think we reached 200 here. As so we have to fly all the way over here. I made sure that we have some safe space too to land on. 
and then we'll continue over here. And I believe the first checkpoint will be right here, since here you can kind of like slow down. And with the checkpoint here, I want to make this part sort of like the first difficult stunt. I'm gonna try and figure out something really cool here. Obviously, as far as these parts, I can come up with some cool things to fly through here. Um, over here, I was actually thinking of adding some cool things to the terrain with like foliage, trees, maybe have like some big cliffs like sticking out of the ground. This is the Quixel Bridge Library, where you can find a bunch of free uh, 3D assets like rocks I'll be throwing into the scene later, foliage and whatnot. As you can see, we have these beach cliffs, beach rocks that I can add, a smoked sausage. Who knows? <laughs> I can throw it in. We can definitely find a bunch of cool things to add to the terrain and overall look of the island. Obviously gonna work a lot with the lighting as well, make it look a bit more colorful. And that will also sort of come in place later on with, uh, you know, the new foliage and whatnot as well. Make that look nice. So yeah, see, you can still crash on some parts and, you know, you don't have to go full speed all the way in order to... Oh, make it through the track. Don't fail here again, please. Nice. Stuck that beautifully. 200. Nail the jump into the sunset. And there we go. Damn, no collision issues at all this entire night with the track. And then once the sort of base track is done, I want to focus on adding sound effects, particle effects like smokes, tire skid marks, maybe even some sparks. Like if you hit the side or if you land upside down, you'd have these like sparks emitting from the car. Just like some final touches to make it look really good. But that is where I'm at right now. Like I mentioned, if you guys want to follow along the progress of the game, there's a link to my Discord down in the description where you can find a dedicated channel to this game. Uh, yeah, where I will post updates, like I said. But that is all that I got for you today. Some big updates but a lot more to come. So I hope you guys enjoyed the progress. Once again, thank you for all the support, and I'll catch you guys later. Take care.